One of the lesser known regions of Adagori is the Contested Lands, also known as Harmondale. The Contested Lands is a region located near the borders of Erathia and Dublin, and its people is one of the few nations that fought and gained their independence on the continent. During the Timber Wars, the region which Erathia and Dublin fought over would eventually become a desolate wasteland, and when peace came, the area became known as the Contested Lands. The Timber Wars were a series of border conflicts between Erathia and Dublin. Under the leadership of King David Grimonhard IV, Erathia was expanding its borders. Some of his explorers and settlers entered the forest north of Erathia and found a rare type of wood, well suited for making bows and other weapons. They started building settlements and sawmills, but soon encountered the native elves, who informed them that they were actually tearing down Avli. This fact was ignored by the humans, who continued the deforestation unchecked and unsalted for a while. However, an elven ranger arrived at King David's court with a message describing the situation. The Duke of Avli was demanding that the humans abandon all settlements north of Erathia and pay a sum of gold equal to the value of the wood taken from the region, but King David refused and W declared war against Erathia. As their armies clashed, neither side was strong enough to gain a permanent advantage. The war continued for one and a half century, and the area between the two lands slowly became a desolate wasteland. After saving vast amounts of blood and money, the two kingdoms agreed to stop the fighting and King Eldric Parson signed a peace treaty with the Erathian king. While the borders between the two nations had shifted, neither side had gained more ground than they had lost. Shortly after the Timber Wars, a new nation arose, Phynaxia. Citizens of the new northern borders of Erathia, tired of the endless conflict in their lands, and the Griffonhard's rule, they revolted and soon gained control of the Erathian north and the contestant lands. This would bring the era of the Phynaxian Empire, which for 70 years grew strong and flourished. Fearing that this new empire would soon threaten Avli's borders as well, an elven offensive brought down the empire, which was eventually absorbed back into Erathia. Nearly 300 years later, the Phynaxian Empire was no more, and the contestant lands still remained a territory claimed by both Erathia and Dublin. Still, whenever Erathia's need was dire, and the forces of evil would push into its borders, both Avli and Bragada would steadfastly answer the call. However, during the reign of King Nicholas Griffonhart, a pricing stirred once again in the contestant lands. His daughter, Catherine, was sent there to quail the rebellion, only to find out that it was staged by one of Erathia's traitorous generals. After the Restoration Wars, Erathia and Dublin were left devastated by the joint offensive of the Kriegans, the Nyon overlords, and later on the necromancers of Deja. Sensing that Erathia and Dublin were weak, and fearing that they would resume hostilities with each other, and that they would be caught in the crossfire between Erathia and Dublin, a group of citizens in the contestant lands claimed to be the descendants of the Phynaxian Empire and demanded their independence, by force if necessary. For the first time in the history of the contestant lands, humans and elves alike joined forces against Erathia and Dublin. Their first step was to acquire the holy artifact, the Grail, and use it as a focal point. Once it was found, the Grail was entrusted to Reland the Ranger, who carried it to Welnin, where he built the Spirit Guardian, a symbol of independence. With the power of the Grail, Welnin was transformed from a small village to a large capital. Erathia and Avli had no choice, and soon acknowledged Harmondale as a new and independent nation. It was later on revealed that this uprising was secretly orchestrated by Archibald Tyronfist. It was all for nothing though, as merely 20 years later the reckoning happened, 
wiping out all of Adagri, including the contestant lands. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, click that subscribe button and let me know in the comments below if you want another biography video of a hero or Heroes 3 lore in general. Cheers!